Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing more cash games, playing 1-2 with a $200 bind. As we open, flat, squeeze. I'm going to go for the 4-bet this time. Uh, player's a bit short here, which makes this kind of awkward because I have to call off against them if it goes out jamming the fold. But when they just flat small, I don't think they're going to have a lot of jams once I 4-bet here. So back over to the big blind. So we just see a call. Go for 10% on the flop here, king 8, 4. They call 8 turn, check turn here. Ooh, beautiful river card. So when they 4-bet and then call, I don't think they have a ton of 8x here, actually. Um, so when they check, I think mostly playing jam or check river. So we are going to be playing jam. So we'll go for it. And snap folds, take it down these 4. Here we have one cut off, button three bets, flat the eight seven suited, flop two pair, good start here. Also got backdoor flush draw. I think a wet enough board that we definitely want to raise for value. Definitely gonna have some draws here. 10 9 hearts ourselves. I go for check raise. At least have a king and we hold. Calls. Two on the turn in. I think given that they started a little bit shallow, we just play GM here. It's not much over pot size GM. We're gonna GM. So it's effective 127 into 104 here. They call ace king hold. The cooler we were hoping it was on that flop. Well, that's pretty sad for them. They get a really good turn card. We get it in and we hold. So we open, get three bet. Go ahead and flat blind versus blind. Flop the open ender. I think can have some check raises here. Open and straight draw with the backdoor clubs, I think makes sense. So bets here. We'll go for check raise. Turn the straight. Nice. So the straight coming in going small turn. And even better that it's my straight. <laughs> and then jam river. Perfect run out here. So we jamming 148, one effective into 187. All in. And eventually folds we take down. Um, ace two suited open. This deep here we're not gonna be folding any suited ace X. We're like hundred bigs might be one of the few ones we fold. So anyways, go to the flop here, ace, eight, six, two clubs. So I definitely will have a higher frequency flat of ace, king. Uh, the norm, say at 100 bigs, uh, with that said, it goes check, check here. Four on the turn. The question is, do I start betting turn here? I think we do if he checks, and if he bats, we just call. And then just don't want to see a five or a seven mostly. Four is probably okay. So if he bets, we just call. If he checks, we go for value, I think. So you'd have to have like ace and nine or better, checking flop, small turn. Um, bet's pretty big. I think need to call is played here. Um, go versus queen jack. Here we open pre-flop, get three bet, we call queen on the turn. Bet's turn, call one more. Four on the river. So if he jams, I'm trying to think about what I would rather call with here. So I block like the ace, queen, ace, jack bluffs, which are most obvious. Um, so I almost wonder if I like call the turn and then fold ace 10 on the river, but call 10, nine or jack 10 and jack 10 is still going to block some of that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think would he still, he probably still jams like his over pairs and queen X on the river. The four shouldn't change too much. I mean, I mostly be worried about like ace, four diamonds, five, four diamonds on this line. Um, the problem is I don't have a lot of queen x myself. I can have queen 10, I can have ace queen, but other than that, I don't have a ton of queen x. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to fold for now. I may be supposed to call this. But like I said, I think I might call like 10, 9, 10, 8 suited and then fold like ace 10. Just because again, like his bluffs are gonna be like ace jack, ace king more often. So when I have the ace, I'm blocking his bluffs a bit more. Cold four bet, okay, so. Um, this is a really strong formation. We're also a bit deeper here. So I think I'm actually mostly going to flat this because I think he can make some pretty massive folds if I were to jam. So we're just going to flat, go to the flop, king 4-3. It's actually a pretty bad flop. Kings get there. Queen's less likely to stack off jacks so on and so forth. We block ace king. Uh, with that said, we're just going to be calling. Ten of spades turn. And then if he bets the turn, do we get it in? I'm trying to think. I think with a spade, we'll just call and call any river. I obviously don't want to see a queen or a jack, but... Especially like queen or jack of spades, but we'll just call here. River should be fine as long as they're on queen jack, which I don't think they probably do in this formation pre. So if anything, now it feels like we have the effective nuts. And wow, we needed the river. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, we did need the river. He's gotta be sick. So cold four bet pot, he flops the top set of kings. We have aces, we river a better set. Oh, we are running good today. Flop a set here, so this is a cutoff open. We defend big blinds. Queen seven to four. That's here, go for check raise. See a nine on the turn. Go for over bet on the turn. Two calls. I mainly don't want to see a spade. Um, nine river is pretty good. Um, I have a spade, so I have less draws. I think, yeah, I think we want to jam this here. I'm not going to go for the trap. We're just going to jam this. If I didn't have a spade, I'd be more likely to check, but with a spade, I think we want to jam. And see a snap full. Take it down. Seven's full. Here we open twos. Get called. Bet flop. I'm uh, going to go bet turn. And then hopefully that will four. So 53 in the middle, they got 65 back. We're going to be all in. So jam the river here. They snap it off. They did have the four. Wow, boat's good with twos. So we threw that and get called. Flop a set. Pretty wet board here. Go for bet. Uh, turn ace. All right, going to be bet and turn as well. Actually building a huge pot here. There's definitely gonna be a lot of rivers we don't like. King, ten, or heart, but. Calls, that's a complete brick here. Love this river. And 175 back, 182 in the middle. It's purely jamming this. Hopefully it has like queen, jack, ace, jack, something like that. Ace, queen. About to win a big one. Calls, ace, king. Let's go. What a cooler. They turn the top, top there. Nines are good. King Jack suit here. We open. We three bet pre get called. This player leads into me on the flop for pot. We call ace on the turn. I'm gonna start bluffing turn here. And then I think this is gonna be our bluff jam. <laughs> oh, this is probably our best one. Oh, they lead. Okay. Well, they might have saved me. We open ace jack. Small one to three bet. Go for flat here. Flop an ace. Pretty good start. Ace six three. So that's here for third. Just call turn two pair. Nice. Uh, especially with a diamond, I don't think going to jam if they bet. Definitely betting if they check. So check some and go for bet. Bit deeper here to start as well. So we'll bet hoping that they're checking like ace queen ace ten here. Let's see what they do. Maybe could have some check jams too. That'd be nice. So diamond on the river makes it hard to get paid. I don't think they have a lot of 3x in this line unless they had ace3, but again, it's going to bet turn quite a bit or check jam turn. So I think it's still a clear value jam, particularly having the ace of diamonds, but it's kind of gross if he has diamonds here. If it's a front door flush that comes in, it's a bit different, but this isn't going to be a jam for value. Hopefully it has like ace king or ace queen inside just to check call, and those will probably still call, particularly if he has a diamond in hand. And eventually that's called the ace 10. Let's go. Ace jack's good. Huge pot there. All right, so we have button open here, three betting, five, four, suit out of the big blinds. Some flatting, some three betting. See the call. Bet small on the flop, king, ten, eight. See the call, checking turn here. And then I'm going to go big bet on the river here. Kind of up like I have an ace, king, maybe king, queen. Go bluff the river. See the fold, nice, get it through. And then we go through as the flop. Pretty big flop here. Ace-King with the Ace of Hearts. One of the stacks pretty short. So we can kind of go either way. This player leads. I think we just straight up jam now against this. I don't know if we have tons of full equity in lead pot, but I think we just want to get it in. Let's get a big pot here. I can still over pairs here. They snap call. They have a flush. We got only 24%. Ugh, not going to get there. All right. So unfortunately, not going to work out the Ace-King. Going for the four bet here. So it decides on a call. Uh, pretty wet board here. Go for third. I would fool if they bet here. If I had like ace king of the other, if I didn't have like backdoor flush or a flush drive, I'd probably just check ace king mostly on this board. But I think here we'll bet that if we get called GM diamond turns mostly. And then if we hit ace or king jam the turn too. But this would be a bet fold if they jam. If I have like ace king of like spades, clubs, I'd probably just fold. We'll fold here. Three betting ace three suit over here. So this is hijack open. We three bet button. They call flop bottom pair here. Queen ten three rainbow. No hearts unfortunately. But we do flop a little something. 
Check, check. Our king. Questions we start turning our hand to a bluff. I think we're going to. A little big bet here. And then I think I'm going to bluff jam river. Trying to get them to fold single pair of hands here once they check turn. Fold like a jack 10, even a queen jack. Let's type a hand. We're trying to get to fold here. Jam the river and do see the fold. Um, here we play a cold four bat pot. So it goes open, three bat, we cold four bat, ace nine, four flop. Check raised. It's going to be a call here. So you can have some ace king in range. Other than that, this board's pretty dry. Three of spades turn. I cold four bat, don't spend that five two. Can have an ace four suited too. So it's a bit scary <laughs> if he bets turn. But I can't imagine we're supposed to fold ace queen here. But again, this is hijack. It's under the gun hijack cutoff. But honestly, it's like what's he bluffing, right? Like that's the tough thing here. Um, I'm gonna call one more, and then nine river. Let's look at his pocket nines, ace nine. Um, his ace four does get counterfeit though. Actually, I think this actually might be one of the rivers we would call. I'm mostly worried about having ace king here. He had aces, he's not going to check raise, I wouldn't think. Ace king, he would though. All right, we're calling. Eights, turns eights into bluff. Ace queen is good. I got pretty lucky that was the river, like I said, that made it a lot easier to call down. All right, YouTube, we book a massive cash game win here today. So, total of seven hours of play, 3,035 hands plus 1,212. Also, 330 in rake back, so total up about 1,500 today. So, Continue to push our high mark in the profit for the year in the cash game category. So hope you enjoyed today's video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.